Scotty, beam me up. A captain on bridge. Uh, welcome to this special episode of LL Tech View, where we want to check out those two cameras, the Nubia Z60 Ultra versus the Oppo Find X7 Ultra in carnival times here in Cologne. So let's get started. So not sure if you can understand me, we are here at the Carnival's train and lots and lots of people are waiting, maybe not so many people there, but here for the Carnival train to pass by and uh, yeah, hopefully you can understand me a little bit. This is front-facing camera of the Find X7 Ultra, 4K 30 and 4K 60 frames per second. What do you think about this one? And this is now the front-facing camera of the Nubia Z60 Ultra under display, only 1080p 30 frames per second. And if I turn around, you will see no stabilization at all and a bit of gloomy. Um, yeah, what do you think about this one here? Find X7 Ultra, ultra wide angle, 4K 60, 4K 30 actually, and uh, yeah, I can turn around here. And uh, this is uh, the whole street where the carnival train will go. And uh, let's try to go to one times. This is one times, two, three, six. As you see, there are lots and lots of people going on. It's not the main track here. It's just like in the district of Cologne. We have the carnival train as well. And you can see some people walking by. 18 times zoom maximum at 4K 30. And the new Z60 Ultra is recording with the ultra wide angle. 18 millimeters, not so ultra wide here anymore. But yeah, what do you think about this one here? I can also turn around. And sadly, I'm recording, no matter what, I'm recording 4K 30, 4K 60, or even 1080p. 30 or 60 I cannot switch between lenses so the only thing that I can do here right now is stop recording and then I will show you the zoom so you can see the zoom lens 2.4 times zoom 85 millimeter and uh, yeah I'm walking a little bit and you can zoom in a little bit so let's zoom in a little bit this is five times 10 times and we can go up to 15 times as you can see here some cars are still uh, lost there have to go another way and of course it's blocked for cars usually and I can zoom out as well to 2.4 times. If you're interested, this is 35 millimeter on the Nubia Z60 Ultra, so it's a bit cropped in, uh, too cropped in for me, for my taste. What do you think? <laughs> Ich 
Let's talk video and uh, ultra wide angle video. The Numa 66 Ultra is not so wide, but has the larger sensor and it's more cinematic looking. I like this ultra wide angle on the Numa 60 Ultra a lot more than the Find X7 Ultra's uh, ultra wide angle. Even though it's ultra wide for video, I think the Numa 60 Ultra is doing a better work there. And uh, yeah, stabilization, I think also a little bit better there on the Z60 Ultra. Uh, it's a bit shakier on the Find X7 Ultra there than on the Z60 Ultra. And yeah, I like a little bit more of the bokeh that you see. I'm still sharp. I have nice bokeh there in the background, which I, it's everything basically in focus on the, uh, the X7 Ultra. And uh, yeah, let's go and check out the zoom lens and compare it with this one here. So we have here the maximum zoom and compare it here with the Z60 Ultra. The Z60 Ultra have to move away a little bit. So this is why I was like a little bit uh, there. It was a little bit shaky and I'm not sure that you can see the OIS or EIS or whatever it is is struggling there a little bit. What we can see at maximum zoom is there quite interestingly very close in terms of maximum zoom, zoom there. And also when you take a look at the detail levels, I don't see that the X7 Ultra is um, so much better than the Z60 Ultra there in this case. The processing is a slightly bit better there. You have chromatic aberrations as you can see here. And uh, yeah, detail levels here. Mm. Yeah pretty much the same there may be slightly better on the x70 ultra but it's like uh, neck to neck uh, so the maximum zoom is better on the x7 uh, ultra than on the z60 ultra and especially like this uh, is a bit i don't know what's going on there maybe i had shaky hands i don't know uh, and we don't have this issue here on the oppo find x7 ultra what is quite interesting is of course the z60 ultra has like this 35 millimeter one super super cool if you have a tripod or like a selfie stick that you can extend a little bit this one would be the one that i would recommend to use because it's super super good quality and you then can choose what kind of photo focal length you want to have and uh, yeah this is quite okay in terms of uh, music quite interesting i think the z60 ultra has a bit of better microphones at least i hear it a bit clearer there than on the Find X7 Ultra, especially when it comes to uh, where they are playing music here. Uh, the last video that I also show you. Also, what you will see is like the default, like 24 millimeter on the Find X7 Ultra looks a bit blurrier, not so sharp as the Z60 Ultra's 18 millimeter. It could be that the Z60 Ultra is uh, over sharpening stuff a little bit, but I'm not so sure about that, to be completely honest. So, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, which one we prefer here in terms of colors, I think both are pretty, pretty much the same. Um, HDR also, you get a bit of more bokeh on the Find X7 Ultra. My daughter is still awake as you hear. So yeah, in general, I think both are good in terms of video, but I like the Z60 Ultra's video a tiny bit more there in this case. The photos on the left are the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, on the right are the Nubia Z60 Ultra. And yeah, I forgot on the Nubia Z60 Ultra to turn on the, the uh, watermark there. It's on on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. We start off with, what is it, 30 times, uh, 50 times zoom on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and 30 times zoom on the Z60 Ultra. It's the maximum that you can zoom in on the Z60 Ultra. Uh, though it is, when we take out a thousand millimeters here, and this is 1,124 millimeters because we have 35 millimeter main camera sensor on the Z60 Ultra. I hear my daughter in the background. She's a bit sleepy and uh, yeah, hopefully she will get to sleep. Just in a second, uh, we can see at first glance the Oppo Find X7 Ultra has a better uh, camera there, sharper. There is definitely uh, like this. Then maybe take a look at this shot here. Fast moving subjects in this case. <laughs> Just a little bit of a bubble there. You can see 72 versus this is, I think, 85. Yes, uh, the zoom lens. Um, we have 3x versus 3.3x, I think it is, if you like calculate it in 24 mi 23 millimeter terms. And um, yeah, both struggle a bit with uh, catching this very sharp. But I think uh, the colors look a bit more natural on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra because yeah, we, the, the bricks of the wall look like this and not like this, like the Nubia made it look like. And uh, then we have, it's very hard to compare stuff, especially when groups are passing by, if you don't have like two hands free. Uh, but in this case, I uh, was able to shoot some uh, people here with uh, the 72, which is a three times zoom, the sharpest one, and 85, 85 is a bit closer up. So if I 
go a bit closer there on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. You can see it's pretty comparable, I would say. It's just a bit of a different face color there. So it's a bit whiter, a bit more warmer here. And uh, in terms of detail level, I think a bit over sharpened on the Z60 Ultra there, where it's a bit softer on the 7 uh, Ultra. Uh, so what do you think about this one here? Also like the white balance, a tiny bit better here. As you can see, this car is white. It's more bluish here. It's a bit more yellowish white that we can see there. And uh, then we have the six times uh, versus uh, the uh, 85, so 3.3 times or 2.3 times, uh, depending on how you want to see it. I'll just like, call it 85 versus 135 millimeter. And here the same guy, as you can see here, even if I zoom in a little bit, you see already that it is a bit sharper on the Find X7 Ultra, but it's not by much, I would say. So if I like go again to the 100% and... Uh, maybe zoom out here a bit like this you see the difference is not that big there's a bit of a sharpening going on on the z60 ultra colors are pretty much the same or punchy maybe on the find x7 ultra where i think the z60 ultra is doing a slightly better job there in terms of colors with its main camera mode uh, then it becomes very interesting uh, here of course like also some people with the profile this is again with the uh this is now 50 millimeters or two times zoom roughly 47 millimeters here and here we are using 85 millimeters and uh, yeah detail levels on people's faces it's better on the, the x7 ultra but only slightly if i zoom in a little bit more you can see yes the 85 is doing a little bit better there and here it's a clear win for the oppo find x7 ultra we have roughly the same kind of view here under 35 which is a six times zoom there and you see this uh, woman here and here we have 170 which is like if you press the uh, 85 millimeter button again you go to 170 which is like probably the optimized version there but for moving subjects and so on you see mm, not so great so keep it at 85 this would be highly recommended there otherwise uh, yeah this is 35 millimeter now now you see i have the watermark turned on as you can see here 35 millimeter is doing fine a little bit over sharpened here and there still i think uh, but uh, doing quite a good job also th the colors are quite good here the Nubia Z60 Ultra has a completely different color scheme because I use the street mode now because I thought well for fast moving subjects and they're going on the street why not use the street mode yeah the street mode gives however a slightly bit of a different kind of color tone like the Fuji 100 they're trying to emulate here uh, and this is why you have slightly different colors here where the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is doing a little bit too punch it's punching up the colors a little bit too much I would say the Z60 Ultra is like we are trying to give this like Fuji like look which is not very present pleasant I have to say especially for Carnival so yes my thoughts like using uh, maybe the Fuji color street mode not a good idea <laughs> and the same goes here for the other shots as well as you can see I also used the portrait mode on the Find X7 Ultra just to see how good it is and I think it's pretty good like uh, getting the, the plain focal length of you roughly even like here with the glasses on this guy pretty pretty good and awesome you can see yeah the muted colors a bit on the Z60 Ultra because of like the uh, different uh, mode that I was in and then yes the street mode uh, on the Z60 Ultra is not having any bokeh effect so everything is nice and sharp but here this guy was like uh, his face was detected and uh, the rest is like blurry which is like uh, yeah it can be a fact that you like the cool thing is on the Apple Find X7 Ultra you can change the blurriness to like uh, being f16 instead of uh, f2.8 or whatever it shows here um, so this helps a little bit but you cannot choose the focus point later on like I think Huawei and I think also Vivo allows to, you to do and it can have some very nice effects like this for example here which I really like with the 3x uh, zoom uh, yes it's a bit blurry here because I think it was focusing on this guy here which is nice and sharp and uh, this is like autofocus there um, sometimes a bit artificial sometimes not 100% sure there but it managed to like keep this in focus somehow not everything but yeah uh, if it would have everything there in focus it would be nice otherwise yeah the street mode here is also a bit noisier because it's like a bit faster the shutter speed is a bit faster you see here we have one uh, 448s where here we have one uh, 200s of a second but street mode in general is a bit faster on the z60 ultra that's why it's also a bit darker there and uh, it also keeps a little bit of more noise uh, in there 
And in terms of detail levels, yeah, the, the normal mode probably would be better here on the Z60 Ultra. This Finder 7 Ultra is like perfect in terms of 3x lens. There are no, no difference at all uh, to the other tests that I did. It's just simply very, very good for the 3x lenses. And when we check out here, yeah, this is a funny story. Someone stole 800 liter of beer uh, from a festival. Actually, it was a volleyball um, tournament here in uh, the district called Flittert. <laughs> someone, it's not only beer, 800 liter, but also like some, uh, uh, some other alcohol chips uh, and uh, other stuff there as well. And, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, a huge, huge deficit there for sure. Fast moving subjects and the portrait modes, mm, not so well as you can see here. You see, it's still good, but it's not as sharp as I would like to have it. And it's a bit of noise creeping in already. But the Nubia Z60 Ultra, even in street mode, is also not so good. Sometimes blurry, the subjects are moving a little bit too fast there. I also tried out the uh, portrait mode there on the Nubia Z60 Ultra. It's also, I think, Quite okay. It looks a bit wrong there. That's, this is someone throwing a little bit of popcorn there as well, because of course they're throwing candies, so-called camelle, which is like popcorn. It can be a little bit of chocolate bars, um, uh, gummy bears, or something like this that they're throwing there. Uh, and also they are giving away some little flowers as well, especially for the ladies usually. And uh, yeah, let's compare maybe this and that. Uh, 135 versus 170 again. In this case, I think the 170 is doing a little bit better because there's not so much moving subject. It's still not 100% sharp, as you see here. The Oppo Find X7 Ultra with its uh, 6x lens is a bit better there. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can get to the faces. And if I zoom in a little bit more here, you see. And yeah, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is a bit better, but it's not like the Nubia Z60 Ultra is completely uh, wrong there. And yeah, here also the color is much more punchy on the 7 Ultra, where uh, I think I used street mode again, where the colors are a bit like blunt looking on the Z60 Ultra. And then of course we have not only uh, Kamele throwing, but we also have some uh, troops that are showing some dances. And uh, yeah, here, for example, those uh, kids standing there and, and, and even throwing them in the air and such things which is quite nice here another like um, shot to see how good the face detection is it detected this it didn't detect but only the real faces which is also quite interesting because I think otherwise others would also detect the doll there as, as, as a face but yeah, quite interesting here here I also used the portrait mode again on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra but for some reason it failed even though I think it detected the faces of those three girls here it fails so you can see it is completely out of focus so what i can do later on in post-production is like raise the f-stop number so i get it a little bit sharp but uh, i think it was focusing here on the back of the or the hand or something like this so this is why i'm out of focus there so the portrait mode maybe for su such shots not the best just don't stick to the portrait mode there and yeah the ultra wide angle also uh, quite good here and uh, yeah as you can see here this guy struggling a bit i think <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, quite nice. Also here, I like the portrait effect. Here, uh, the, the, the kids that are uh, playing there as well and throwing out the candies, which is quite nice. So um, yeah, in total, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is a, a little bit the winner here in this uh, regard, but you see it in the total ranking as well that they um, provide a little bit better kind of cameras, especially zoom camera and processing. But the Nubia Z60 Ultra, I think the processing on, I think they have a good uh, zoom camera as well, especially for daylight situations, but the processing needs to be a little bit better and faster uh, for taking the shots. And yeah, of course, don't use street mode like I did because you get like the wrong colors, use the normal mode and you get better results there, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, portrait effect, not always like recommended to use there. Uh, that's it in terms of photos and a quick uh, walk through all the photos here at Carnival. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but let's come to the conclusion. TLDR, the Nubia Z60 Ultra gets 4.3 or 5 points and the Opel Find X7 Ultra still has 4.495 points. When it comes to the main camera photo quality, yeah, there's a slight edge on the Opel Find X7 Ultra, but the Nubia Z60 Ultra, even with Sony IMAX 800 sensor, is doing quite a good job with a 35 millimeter to get very, very close there. Ultra wide angle, I didn't really compare, but yes, the ultra wide angle on the Z60 
Ultra is better. It's a bit narrower, it has a larger sensor, better HDR, better bokeh there. It is beating the uh, Find X7 Ultra there for sure. Zoom camera quality is a win for the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. It has two zoom cameras and yeah, the free axis is like so good that it like beats the Nubia Z60 Ultras for sure. I think the Nubia has to improve there a little bit upon uh, stuff there. I think the street mode can lose use a bit of uh, improvements Gesundheit and I think also the um, a normal camera mode can also use a bit of improvements there uh, as well when it comes to shutter speed and taking the photo. Video recover uh, quality there, the uh, Fobo Find X7 Ultra is in total a little bit better there because you can switch between all the lenses during zoom, you have 4K60, you can switch between all the lenses. You cannot do this on the new SACC Ultra even though we have like the possibility to uh, record 4K 120 frames per second I think on all three lenses which is quite nice but you have don't have the ability to switch lenses, this is what's a real deal maker. Otherwise sometimes the ultra wide angle especially I like more on the new as a 60 Ultra and think it's better but the total better video recording quality camera system all over the um, different fo 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 focal lengths is definitely the Find X7 Ultra in this regard. Autofocus performance is basically the same. Front camera, don't talk about front camera, about the Nubia ZXC Ultra, the under display front camera has absolutely no chance at all. And camera UI is a bit better on the Nubia ZXC Ultra, we have way more features there and uh, functions there, but also I think the, the, the overall um, way to quickly change settings is a little bit easier easier than on the Find X7 Ultra. I think my daughter is agreeing to this uh, and uh, yeah I like this a little bit better there. Also we have a, uh, in terms of extra features, more features like we have a pro mode for video that I can use which is quite nice. Focus speaking is in there, such things. Uh, we have a street mode which I really like. We have a Milky Way night that we have there. We have a portrait mode with various different apertures and lightning and, and, and uh, beautifying options. We have star trail, starry sky, moon, electronic aperture, a light drawing, slow motions, like I said, 120 frames per second, 4K. Um, uh, we have time lapse, we have macro mode, document, scanning mode, ID, photo modes, if you want to photograph an ID uh, or for an ID card, a photo, uh, panorama, um, uh, cloning modes, multi camera, multi exposure modes. So there are lots of more features on the Numia Z60 Ultra that I really, really like. like a little bit better on the a little bit more restricted extra features that we have on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. So what does it leave us? Uh, as you can see, Oppo Find X7 Ultra is on top together with the Vivo X100 Pro and the Nubia X60 Ultra is here in the ballpark of the uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro and the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. So in this kind of ballpark, you will find it actually the same points as the Vivo X90 Pro Plus because the main camera sensor is astonishingly very close to the X90 Pro Plus. And even the ultra wide angle is beating the X90 Pro Plus. What's losing is the zoom camera quality and uh, video quality actually is better on the on the Nubia Z60 Ultra than on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. And autofocus performance also slightly better because I had some issues with the X90 Pro Plus. Front cam, like I said, it's the Vivo is not very good at front cam, but the Z60 Ultra is like simply worse, the worst that I have here, I think. Uh, camera UI is basically the same and yeah, the Vivo has a little bit more features than the new Z60 Ultra in this regard. So what do you think about this uh, rating here and quick walkthrough? Yes, it's not a full detailed camera comparison like I usually did. It's hard to do such things. I think in the future when I go to those carnivals uh, things I won't do a camera comparison because I cannot hold two cameras at the same time and take the same shot. So what I will do is uh, probably only use one camera and give you like um, experience kind of shot and what you are capable and able to do. Maybe I will do this with the Vivo X100 Pro as well at one point. So that's it for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.